busy on the roads this morning. Thank you, Dave. 734, about minus 5, minus 6 at the airport this morning. Good morning, everyone. A patient who may have a contagious illness is now getting treatment in a hospital in Calgary designated as an Ebola facility. Alberta Health Services confirming the patient is now in the South Health Campus Hospital, transferred there last night from the Peter Lougheed Center. Health officials are not saying anything about the patient's gender, age, or travel history. All health officials are saying this morning is out of an abundance of precaution, AHS has enacted specific infection prevention and control protocols, including cleaning and disinfection, to ensure any risk to other patients, members of the public, and staff remains extremely low. The next time health officials say they're going to comment on this is when a diagnosis is confirmed. No charges yet this morning after a bank heist last night in Mission. Three people are in custody, though, being questioned by investigators. The robbery going down at the Bank of Montreal location on the corner of 4th Street and 23rd Ave Southwest. Police responding in force here because they believed guns were involved. Thankfully, staff managed to lock themselves inside a room inside the bank branch. Three people tracked down quickly by police last night, but roads were shut down in the area here, and nearby businesses were evacuated for hours last night because officers thought more people may have been involved. Four hours after the heist, staff at the bank were brought outside safely. It was not a hostage situation at that point in time, but of course, because of those initial details were uh, vague and coming in um, very quickly, uh, we needed to make sure there weren't other uh, suspects inside of the bank, and, and it took quite a long time to be able to determine that. We are expecting an update, by the way, on charges at some point later on today. A judge will be handing down a decision in March of next year regarding a request to unseal a document in connection with Calgary's worst mass murder. The piece of evidence graphically details about five, or how five Calgary students were killed at a house party in the community of Brentwood. The families of Zachariah Rathwell, Caitlin Paris, and Jordan Segura, Joshua Hunter, and Lawrence Hong do not want the evidence released before trial. The provincial court judge hearing arguments on both sides of this issue. Three media outlets are trying to get access to the document before the accused in this case stands trial. The judge, though, deciding to reserve his decision. Legal argument was made on those issues today, and at the end of the day, the judge reserved his decision. He announced that the next court appearance will be March 10th, 2015, here in Calgary, in order to give a date for his oral decision. Matthew DeGroote faces five counts of first-degree murder. The judge's decision on unsealing the evidence will come down in March of next year, likely during the same week that Matthew DeGroote's preliminary hearing begins. Several media outlets reporting hacking attacks on their websites today. Even the National Hockey League, the NHL, users trying to access the sites report seeing a pop-up message saying you've been hacked by the Syrian Electronic Army, S-E-A-C for short. Some sites impacted are cbcnews.ca, PC World, Forbes, uh, OK Magazine, the Chicago Tribune, also CNBC. The Syrian Electronic Army is apparently a group of computer hackers supervised by the Syrian Assad regime. 737, time to focus on business. A lot of attention on Vienna in Austria as OPEC ministers meet today. Richard Southern joining us this morning. Richard, oil prices, red hot topic right now. Hey, Ted, that's right. Price of oil, a uh, big story. Tough times right now for uh, the oil patch. What with the uh, crude at a fresh four year low. Oil right now down just over a dollar, hovering just above 72 bucks a barrel. I mean, here's the situation the world has too much oil right now. There's a glut, which is driven largely uh, by a big surge in U.S. shale oil production. So this brings us to Vienna, where OPEC is meeting this morning. And the million dollar question is will the cartel turn down the taps, cut production to the price. Well, all bets right now are on that they probably won't. That's why the price is falling. A lot of people think that uh, Saudi Arabia is comfortable with the price at this level, perhaps to drive some of those U.S. upstart oil producers out of business. We're expecting a word from Vienna and OPEC in about half an hour's time. Again, oil just above 72 bucks. Meantime, what's for breakfast this morning? Is it eggs? If so, you're not alone. Egg demand is surging. Eggs have apparently never been so popular, and this has the price of eggs going up, and that's no 
yolk. Uh, a big reason for this is the fast food business. Eggs very popular now as a breakfast item. McDonald's recently just launching an egg white option. And chefs are using eggs more and more, topping burgers and pizzas with them. And get a load of this. There's a deli in New York now selling double yolk eggs by the dozen. These apparently uh, occur in uh, one out of every 1,000 eggs. So there's something different for breakfast. And finally, Uber in the driver's seat. The ride-sharing company raising money hand over fist. It's got new financing now, and the company valued at about $40 billion, double what it was valued at earlier this year. And uh, this valuation makes it bigger uh, than many of the companies in the S&P 500. That's it for me, Ted. It's back over to you. Good stuff. Thank you, Richard. That's Richard Southern reporting this morning. You can hear Richard on 660 News at 26 and 56 after the hour. BT's Market Report is brought to you by RRP, specializing in engineering, procurement, and construction management. Rapid Response Project, where every project matters. That's your news to 740 this morning, about minus 5, give or take at the airport, heading back to Tarslona.